the problem for uh, Jose Maria Olivarbo all week has been his driving. He's hit more greens than anyone in regulation, but he's been missing fairways uh, almost for fun. Well, not for fun, but he's been missing them quite comfortably and quite often with an iron in his hand. And that was the case on this hole. So this to say par and to stay in the lead by one. It's, uh, it's the wind, as I say, over the left shoulder, helping. So it's pushing the, the ball towards the water. And this hole this afternoon, just nine paces from the front edge and six from the right. Well, on the other side of the course, Henry Bjorn's down to 63 this morning, but he dropped two shots at his second hole, three shots at his second hole, so his chance probably gone now. Incredibly, that doesn't look any more than about a seven iron for Jose Maria Alathabo. Oh, played the part he's beautiful this week. When he had managed to change the pins, we wondered if they'd have time or that the manpower was so much work required elsewhere in other departments of the course, but they have. There was a uh, comparison between uh, Alathabo and uh, Rocker. The two majors, the two green jackets, of course, for Alathabo. A little more money as well, but 90s were a very lucrative period for the Italian from Bergamo. Having dropped the shot, the chance to get it right back and to also regain the lead for Holly. Well done. He is so tough. A wool of iron. Not only is he tough from about 8, 10 feet, he's almost the best in the world. He's a strong card to take into a final round. But especially when he's in contention. Eight iron the other. And you can just see the flag waving gently at the right corner of the clubhouse. Green Ollie for a birdie three. <laughs> so, get a chance to go ahead again, but now Rocco and Olafarbel, even a 10 under. And the Italian, four holes further down the course. If he can pick up a couple more, he's going to put a lot of pressure on Ollie. Hint of double break in that one to be turning in towards the hole, and then the last 18 inches foot's just straightened a bit and went uh, from left to right. The tendency under pressure would be to hook the ball, and he's been working, seems, with the shape of uh, moving a little in the opposite direction. And most of the, the, the fairways we've seen him miss. As with this one, we've seen him miss on the right. Well, he's stopped short of that little hollow, muddy hollow, so he should be all right there, but he might have to move the ball a little from left to right in the air for the second shot. Holly, there's branches in front of him, not really a factor, he can get over that. It's some astonishing recovery shots from Ruff. Has done again. It just, I mean, it doesn't seem to make too much difference, does it? Whether it's in the rough or on the fairway. Oh, a little too much. I'll tell you what, Hachi, we have to say there, pay tribute to the greenkeeping staff here that most of their efforts have been directed at getting the fairways playable. But the greens have been super all week long. Not the quickest. You wouldn't expect them to be in, in these conditions, but they've been very true. They've taken a, a battering from the rain and, and stood up magnificently. Well, yeah, still, they've been running along a line on the spin, spin beater, which is not bad at all. Now that, I mean, that would be on, on club greens. 
back home in the UK and maybe in, in South Africa. You think, well, that's that's reasonably quick without being uh, like glass. Hard left to right wind here. We here and 193 yards to go for Ollie. It's in between a four and a five iron. Could be good. Good to be drawing back towards the pin. Great shot, Ollie. A little long, but what a good shot. And I think he meant to just pop a little higher up there. Onto the green. Good shot. Nice pace. Bit of a dodgy bounce left. Now, Ollie, can he find this 12th fairway? Another hole that dog oh, yeah. makes from left to right. He looks to have cut that one down there, moving left to right through the air. The fairway found. Well, we found out this week that he's working with Butch Harmon, who goes his title. Ollie, second shot into 12. So there's a tough hole par for 442. He's got 169 yards to the hole. Solid six iron. First interview was a little disappointed. He was going out to do a little work on it. And the green's possibly staying up a little this afternoon. Remember, cut, oh, cut short right. Seven paces on, and that looks to have started right at it. Has he got the right spanner? Up a long putt back down the hill. Couldn't have been any more exciting, I don't think. Ollie down the hill. Long way from the hole. Keep looking, keep going. Good putt. Ollie for par. Back at 13. Shot for him, maybe a six iron to the park. It's just a little shorter than it played this morning, uh, with the pin being moved. Maybe between a six and a seven. That's, I think, exactly what it is, with the breeze helping. All the way around. If you were compiling, looking to go about his right, it kept it. Maybe inside right. It's a funny putt. Yeah. <laughs> so he will just keep grinding away. This, of course, encourages the open face to make sure the ball gets up in the air. Okay, almost a divot once more with the driver. But this time the fairway is found. It's it a big, big shot for him. It's the play of a champion. He, the closer you get, he's less prone to errors. Punch. Oh, 
Also, I am surprised. But again, it is not that far from the hole. Still will feel surely in his own mind that he needs another birdie to make assurance double sure. Maybe left edge. Just bubbled. Oh, short one that happens. 11 under, 12 under. Probably going to be the number. Looks like it. So, lots of people out there with Ollie. Four bunkers that have to be carried, but not normally a problem for these players. Well, once they reach down to the tee, it should be good. And is perfect spot. Interesting to see if he uh, has to make a birdie at the last, whether he uh, actually pulls the driver out. So it will be. Right, second shot. But 142 yards left, so that was a tee shot of some 300 yards from Jose Maria. In these wet conditions, though the breeze was helping, it's still a big, big hit. <laughs> Not bad. Probably the reason for that. Gust the wind just as he hit it came up, and that can happen. Certainly was straight at it. Yeah, it certainly did. And that's what happens in the trees, beds. It, it, the wind can swirl, gets caught up, and comes back at you. And the wind just caught him out at 16. This would be a bonus. Come on. Oh, oh. Deadly. I don't think there's anybody tougher, as I've said all afternoon, down the stretch. So that's either going to be a nice smooth six, possibly a, a smash with a seven iron. Breeze quite strong behind it. The hole right at the back on the top plateau. It looks to have started right down the middle of the green or not. It's okay. They do set such high standards for themselves. So they did. Slightly downhill, this one. Missed fairways with his two iron. He only makes the five, he gives the a chance. Good job. Not sure that Paul Eels can get up in two either, but he, I thought of Arbor was a fine uh, pitch and putter. This will just try and lay this up to the length. He likes to pitch from. That's anywhere between 90 and 100 yards. No, oh, nothing wrong with this one. Just hit a six iron yeah, up there. Yeah, I thought he had to hit. He didn't want to be too close to the water, did he? No. Big pitch, this little ridge just behind the hole. When he pitch it strong, try and move it back to the hole. The most important thing is to get across the water. These shots all week have been tough to play from the damp fairways. 
No nerves at all, Aaron. Just pitching out, taking no chances. Well, I mean, that, you know, you'd think he'd pitch it along, wouldn't you? But not to Don. A putt, 12 under. And that surely will be the number. This is for a round of 67. I had to mention that. Probably come inside left. Slightly uphill. And he hasn't missed one of this length that we've seen this afternoon. Back of his mind there, Paul Eels is a good enough player to get up and down if this one stays out. True. No, this is key. taken a lot out of himself. He really hasn't been at his best, but he struggled and struggled and struggled and cut it quite beautifully. And he is a champion indeed. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.